going in the color science sunforgettable total protection face shield um spf 50 which is really good it's chemical free active 100 percent mineral water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes so let's take a look on the back give your complexion a boost of luminosity this powerful protector features an illuminating pearlescence to deliver a healthy lit from within glow it helps nourish protect your skin from uva and uvb rays of course i like it when sunscreens are tinted because it can help with hyperpigmentation and moles and stuff like that by the way i'll put a um the ingredient list somewhere in the video so y'all can check it out it's not really on the back let's take it off and try it out i'm only doing like a little bit so I'm just going to blend it in. It matches my skin tone and just blends right in naturally. It might look blotchy because it's on my hand, of course. But um, as you see, once I'm blending that out, it's actually blending into my skin. So this is my hands. And as you see, it's actually... Fully I've been this for um, a couple of days now. I actually have really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people say it gives um, a greasy, disgusting, cakey look. For some reason, my skin is just not like that. It actually really likes the products um, and stuff that are in it. And a lot of people say it's like a lot of chemicals. But in reality, those are just preservatives. They're not, like, harmful to the skin. It's just to help it um, stay good when it's um, getting shipped out or if, when they're packaged. But overall, I'd give this um, uh, a 9 out of 10. The only reason why I give it a 9 out of 10 is because I don't like the glowiness. I just like um, plain mineral sunscreen. There's no reason for a glow. But anyways, yeah, this is a 9 out of 10. I recommend purchasing it only if you believe that it would do good for your skin. Because for me, it worked. So, yeah.